I'm Mike, and I am hidden in the world of Skyrim. And I am Kat, and I am <laughs> So today we're having a fun video. Jay's not here, so we're having a very fun time. We were just sitting around chatting, yeah. and being nerdy, talking about trailers. But we thought we'd come up with this video where we pick our top five movie trailers. Mm -hmm. And then we soon realized it's almost impossible. It's but these are the first five that really came to mind. Mm -hmm. And, and that we like we got rid of some on the list, we traded them out. I feel like there probably are better ones maybe. Well, and, but they're, and they're all new too. We're forgetting like the old I trailers. know. Like, I can't remember any trailers from when I was younger. Yeah. And they're in no particular order. So please let us know what your top five movie trailers of all Comment time below. are. Comment below. And remember to like the video, follow Cat on Twitter. Hey. Hello, Mike on Twitter. We gotta mention in our top five movie trailers, I think we everyone will agree with us, is Watchmen. The Watchmen t trailer with the Smashing Pumpkin song, it was not just the song, it was the visuals that went with the song and how it was edited to the song. Yeah, the and visuals were great. And it made it look like it was gonna be a crazy action movie, which I think was a bit misleading with how the movie turned out, but the trailer kicked ass. Some people would argue that the trailer was better than the movie. I liked the movie, but that trailer was epic. And the Smashing Pumpkin song was a natural break. And the editor used that space for something very cool in that line that says, God help us all. God help us all. And then it's like, and it starts again. And it's just so epic. Like yeah. you finish watching that trailer and you're just like, I need to see this movie. Yeah. It made, that trailer made me read the comics. Me too. <laughs> it made me read. That, that trailer. Novel. That's how good that trailer is. Yeah. What's uh, another one? Star Trek. For sure, hands down, Star Trek. The J.J. Abrams Star Trek. J.J. Abrams Star Trek that came out a couple years ago was amazing. It took Star Trek, which was sort of classical in many ways, and made it into rock and roll. You oh, saw yeah. that trailer and you were just like, holy crap, this could be amazing. And then it was, which is so nice. It's so nice when a trailer ends up being exactly what you want the movie to be. It's a reflection yeah. of how it's going to be edited, etc, etc. So good. And you're like, oh, Star Trek, and you're just so hopeful that they're going to cast it well, and you're feeling like maybe they were probably going to do a good job, and you just saw all these amazing moments that you just wanted to know how they got to that spot and how this adventure took them. James Kirk was a good man, and that was another life. James T. Kirk was a great man, but that was another life. It made Eric Bana's performance way better in the trailer. <laughs> it did. And it goes, fire everything! Emergency evasive! Fire everything! But when it happens in the movie, yeah, it's not it's as kind of epic silly. as it is in the trailer. <laughs> but that trailer, my god, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. The nerd venom is boiling in me just for the second one. I'm just getting ready to bite. I know, I'm so nervous. It, is it con? Comment below. Is it con? His jacket's kind of like the con jacket, or are they just gonna go somewhere else? Okay. They're in a parallel universe at this point. It could be anybody. It con could, be, could not exist. It could be con, but a different type of con. And the next one is a, a recent one, and it's gotta be, well, they're all recent, but the next one's gotta be Prometheus. Oh. That, again, trailer was way better than the movie. <sighs> I was so excited because again it was taking something from the past that everyone loved and making something new out of it and it looked so exciting. Charlize Theron's in it, she's beautiful. It looked like it was visually going to be amazing, which it was. Visually that movie And it wasn't was like another director, fantastic. it was Ridley Scott. And, I know. And then, then all the promotion for it, like TED Talk thing oh, that was with great. Guy Pearce, that was amazing. <gasps> Michael Fassbender as the android, those trailers were amazing. Yeah. Everything, you're like wow this is shaping up to be this new thing that's even it looks better than Alien. Yeah, well they just had, and they just had so much social media going on for yeah. it. It wasn't just a single trailer that was amazing, it was a single trailer and this and this and this. And they just did such a good job promoting it and they got you so excited for it. I went to the midnight screening of that bad boy. Yeah, whoever is in charge of promotion for that film, uh, you well deserve an Academy Award. They should <laughs> have a category. Best promotion. Alright, so one that's a little bit older, but I think got everyone really excited, was Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. <laughs> There will be no dawn for men. That part? Yeah. Ooh, I, got, I got chills. I actually yeah. had voice bombs when you did that. It, that song, and then after that trailer, a lot of trailers used that song. Yeah. It was kind of like not expected, right? Because you 
there's certain type of orchestra music that's expected in a Lord of the Rings film. A little more classical, whereas this classical. is just like exciting and emotional. Yeah. Everyone liked mm. the first Lord of the Rings, so everyone was so excited for it. And then to have that kind of music behind all those visuals and the rest of the story. Yeah, <sighs> and the, everyone knows before the movie came out that, you know, this is the, the part of the Lord of the Rings trilogy where they go to Helm's Deep, where these epic things happen, where Gandalf comes from the east or the west or something. It's like, ooh, it like just ooh. gave you that feeling. Oh, oh. Like, like God took you by the balls and went, oh, 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 oh. And another trailer that we really enjoyed before the film came out, it's a weird line, of course it comes out before the movie, but was Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. Trent Reznor was doing the music. I was like, I'm yeah. see this. Well, and Fincher, like, and the, well, amazing. that's the amazing thing about the trailer is it's a music video to that song, mm. and there's absolutely no talking, odd, like, no all. lines. Like it could no have been, it could have been a movie that wasn't in English. Like they often yeah. do that. It was basically a DOP's wet dream, and <laughs> it's just put to music, and like, who cares about anything else? Visuals. This is the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo remake of the Swedish films. Yeah, and the books and the Swedish films did so well. They're great. If you guys haven't watched the Swedish yeah. films, you really should. Like, deal with the subtitles, suck it up and read. It's really well done. But so, yeah, that trailer was epic. So guys, comment below. Let us know what trailers you like. What trailers were epic? What got you so excited? I secretly like Sucker Punch, but hey, it, yeah. it was bad. I like the Crystal uh, Indiana Crystal Jones Skull. Crystal Skull trailer. Yeah, yeah it was but, hopeful. It was hopeful. Yeah, Fight Club had excellent promotional web trailers, but like. I don't know, the actual full trailer that was the, like, you know, like... It made it seem like it was a comedy. Yeah, it wasn't, I don't think it was an Just amazing like Choke. trailer. Just Choke, wasn't advertised for very well. Choke Palmer Choke was a, Choke was a bad to... movie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, swinger! We had to stipulate in the bed, and if it's a different type of con, yeah. I still don't win. <sighs> did you stipulate, what did you say? You stipulated in bed? Stipulated in a bet. Oh, okay. <laughs> in bed. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I'm about to have sex. Okay, wait. Yeah, yeah. Before that. <laughs>